Welcome back. Uh, if you're here, you have Eclipse downloaded, installed, Android, I'm sorry, the Eclipse Android SDK downloaded and installed, the GitHub plugin installed, and the UML diagrammer uh, installed as well. This is to show you how to deal, how to do uh, commits and um, and saves within Eclipse. So again, um, practice set one, I cloned the project. Right now, it's it's brand new, so you know this may not look like your project. You'll probably see a whole bunch of different files out here, depending on when you did your assignment. But right now, this is the starting project. I have a class called Gibbons B for my last name uh, and first initial, and all this has is a method called Hello World, and it prints Hello World, and it's executed from the main pro from the main class. And you can see I'm statically calling that method under Gibbons B class hello world and when it runs in the console in the console area console it prints hello world what I want to see is a class for each one of your each one of the students um, and then also change the main method so I see your github account because what I'm going to do is assign uh, associate your github account with the projects that we have in github so for right now I, I made a change now if I, if I take a look at it uh, you see this little carrot right next to main.java? That means there's a change since the last time I did a commit. Here's how it works. When you save locally, uh, after you save locally, you have to commit. In other words, push your changes from your local repository to the common repository. The common source repository we're going to use is GitHub because it's free. I don't have to deal with University of Delaware system admins to create accounts. Um, they, the, the, if you've ever used Subversion or CVS, it's the same idea, uh, a, a common source repository. So let's walk you through how to do a commit. Right now I'm in the Java perspective. You can see the little perspective Java is selected. You can hit the, uh, please hit the Git perspective. If you don't see it lit up here, go to Window, Open Perspective, Other, and then Git. And you'll be looking at, you'll be looking at this perspective. Now, again, I have week one through week six as uh, local repositories. Don't worry about that. You should at least see PS1 there because you did the clone already. You already have it on your local machine. If I want to do a commit, right click and commit. Now, it's going to ask you for our, what's going to be committed. Now, the reason why this is going to be committed is I made a, a minor change to it. And it's going to ask me to uh, for a commit message. I'm going to say I uh, added Gibbons. Gibbons B, let's say, and I do a uh, commit and push. I click that button, and it syncs. You should see a, a successful message. It'll sync uh, my change with the GitHub hosted repository. How do I know it's it's submitted or it's synced? If I go out to GitHub, www.github, github.com, and I go to go to your account, go to repositories, practice set one, actually I take that back, it'll probably be under, until I do the association, you'll probably see it under TISC 181, that's the account for the class, PS1, and remember that message that I had, that commit message, there it is, added Gibbons B, and 41 seconds ago is when it was committed, when this is complete, that means your, your the PS1 is complete. The purpose of this PS1, obviously, it's not, you know, the hardest uh, <laughs> Java assignment in the world. It's just to make sure that you have the right software installed, you have the right plugins installed, you've created a GitHub account, you knew how to cl clone a repository, you know how to push a repository, and um, you know how to commit. It's easy. Since I'm here and i got a minute, if I right-click the repository, commit, we know what that does. That saves... Uh, or excuse me, that pushes changes that are in um, your local repository to the the common repository. Push and fetch and pull. Uh, excuse me, I take that back. Pull and fetch. These are to get uh, changes. So let, let's say let's say I, um, when I when I go back through and I want to check PS1 to make sure all the students did their work. Now, assuming let let's say from the last time that I checked and right now. 10 people did their work. Well, I don't have their classes yet. I'll, I'll look out here and I'll see just two classes. If I want to synchronize my local version with the common version, 
I can do uh, either a get, I'm sorry, excuse me, a fetch or a pull. The difference between the two, a um, um, uh, fetch, excuse me, a, a fetch will do a pull and it will do a a, a merge. So what it, what it does is, if if I had let's say that common, um, excuse me, uh, that common method main dot Java, if I had changes locally that I didn't push, and there were changes that were already pushed, then it's sort of at a, in an out of sync uh, scenario, and I have to choose one or the other to, to, to win, if you will, right? So uh, if my local copy is the most current, a merge says, I'm going to keep the changes in my copy. If the, if the server version is more current, I'll tell it to keep the server version. That's for later. Don't, you don't have to worry about that yet. Very good. Um, I'm going to put this as part of the PS1 assignment, and if there's any questions, please feel free to email me or the TAs. Thank you.